Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to make Chrome T-Rex game on Scratch. So this is the preview of our game. So you can see our T-Rex can jump and you see this flying dinosaurs and the cactus and if our dino touches this flying dinosaur or the cactus game over and we can restart so let's start So you could upload the sprites or use my scratch starter project so the links are on the description below. So first I'll be showing you how to upload the sprites. So have a sprite named T-Rex and it has these four costumes and the danger which has the cactus and the two flying dinos and on the ground we have these two small costumes which has this particle like thing and a game over sprite with this one costume called game over and a costume called restart with the restart button and a sprite called thumbnail with our thumbnail so first i'll be showing you how to code our thumbnail so click on thumbnail and when green flag clicked we need to go forward on red layers and we need to go to front layer and then set our ghost effect to 100 and then go for variables and let's make a variable for scope for all sprites and then we need to hide variable scope and click on events and broadcast a new message called start and now when you run your project you will see our thumbnail disappears and if you click on the stop button our thumbnail reappears so now i'll be showing you how to code our t-rex so click on rex and when I receive start, we need to show a variable called scope, and then we need to show and grab a forever, grab if else statement. So if So if our y position is lesser than negative 40, then let's make a variable called y value for all sprites. And then we need to set y well to 0. And on the top we need to set y well to 0. And then grab a next costume and we need to wait 0 0.005 seconds. Now we need to switch costume else switch costume to Rex1 which is the jumping costume and then we need to change our Y well by negative 1 and finally we need to change our Y by Y well Now, when I receive start, grab a forever and duplicate this and grab a if statement. So, if y well is 
lesser than negative 40 and grab another if statement grab a O operator so if he face press O mouse down then we will set a Y well to 50 so this would make our Rex jump so now you can see our animation works and our Rex could jump okay that's cool so now I'll be showing you how to code the danger so now go for events when I receive stuff we need to hide forever we wait one second and then go for variables make a variable called costumes for all sprites and then set costumes to we need to pick random from 1 to 2 and then we need to switch costume to costume and then grab a repeat so we need to duplicate this pick random block and then we need to create clone of myself and we need to wait 0.2 seconds now grab when I start as a stone block and grab if else statement so if our costume number equals 1 then we need to set y to negative 44 else we need to set a y to negative 35 and then we need to set our x to 250 and then we need to show and grab a repeat until block grab o so if touching rex Or if our x position is lesser than let's say negative 238, then we need to change our x by negative 7. So grab a if statement. So if touching red, then we need to set go to zero. and then delete this form and when I receive start we need to delete this form and when I receive start we need to set scroll to 0 and grab a forever block we need to change scroll by 1 and we need to wait 0 0.01 seconds so you could adjust these values and when I start as a clone then grab a forever block and grab two if statements so if our costume number equals two Then we need to switch costume to T2 and we need to wait 0.1 second. If our costume number equals 3, then we need to switch our costume to our previous costume, which is T. So this is the T costume and the T2 costume. okay now let's run our project and now you can see our danger works
and now you can see if our T-Rex touches this danger, nothing happens. So let's call the game over. So for that, go for this if touching Rex. We need to set score to zero and we need to broadcast a new message for game over. And grab a winner we see game over. We need to stop other script in script. And click on Rex. And when I receive game over, we need to stop other scripts in this script. So if you run your game now, and if our T-Rex touches the danger, the game stops. So now I'll be showing you how to add that small particles. So for that, click on ground. And when I receive start, we need to delete this home. And when I wish you start, we need to set Y to negative 80 and grab a forever. We need to wait the Y 0 0.3 seconds by pick random from 1 to 3. And then we need to repeat random from 1 to 3 create clone of myself and then grab when I start as a clone block we need to set our X to 250 and we need to change our Y by pick random from negative 5 to 5 And then we need to switch costume to pick random from 1 to 2. And then we need to show. Then go for control and grab a repeat until. So grab a lesser than block. And if our X position is lesser than negative 225, then we need to change our X by negative 7. And grab a if touching Rex. Then we need to set our score to zero. And then delete this clone. And finally delete this clone. And when I receive game over, we need to stop other scripts in this project. And now, when you run your project, you will see these particles appear. So that's cool. So now I'll be showing you how to code our game over and our restart button. So for that, click on game over and when I receive start, we need to hide and when I receive game over, we need to show go to x, negative 3 and y, 74 and we need to go forward layer one layer and then show and restart when I receive start we need to hide and when I receive game over we need to go forward one layer go to x negative 3 and y negative 1 and set our ghost effect to 100 and then we need to show then we need to repeat 25 change our ghost effect by 4 
and then we need to broadcast a new message called restart. And now when I receive restart forever, if grab O, so if key space press O, if mouse down, then we need to broadcast start. And then stop the script. So you make sure you change the scope defect to negative 4 and now if our T-Rex touches the danger you can see our game over sprite and restart button appears and if you click space or if you click on the mouse our game restart. So this game is also mobile friendly. So now I'll be showing you how to add sound effects. So click on T-Rex Sprite and make sure you upload these three sounds called Hit, Jump and Reach. And when key space press or mouse down we need to start sound jump. And now when I receive game over we need We need to play sound hit until the and when I receive start forever so if our scope contains zero zero then we need to play sound reach until done so sound effect works So that's it for this tutorial, so now you can see our T-Rex can jump and now you can see our danger appears and if you touch on a cactus or a flying dino, the game over, restart the game by clicking on the restart button. So you could add even more features like a high score. So if you like the video or find this video useful make sure to give it a like and if you want to get more updates from our channel make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon and if you find this video useful and interesting make sure to share it with your friends. So see you with another awesome Spice tutorial.